How's it going guys? Today we are going to be doing Point Lookout. Now, until I just played through it one final time, this was not my favorite DLC, but I think that I do actually like this more than Operation Anchorage. Welcome, my friend. And all you have to do is come here, talk to this guy, buy a boat ticket. You need 427 caps, so make sure you have that, obviously. And then we are going to be starting our adventure to Point Lookout, which is actually the most open DLC out of all of them, now that I played them all and actually had to memorize everything. Which is why I like it more. It's a really good DLC. Now the first thing we're going to do is just run over here and I'm going to point out to you guys the first uh, shop vendor. You're going to want to keep this person in mind because you're going to accumulate lots and lots of stuff doing this. And this is one of the two places where you can come sell it before you're actually done the DLC. And then from here we're going to run this way and go into this apartment complex and we're going to enter the room 1D. Just in the corner here. Now once you're inside here, there's a couple things. The first is the cryptochromatic spectacles, which you need to get one of the unique weapons from this guide. That's what it looks like. And then to start the quest, the Velvet Curtain, for that rifle, you need to activate this terminal here. Quest added, the Velvet Curtain. Okay, now, also don't forget to grab this key. And we're going to do this quest really fast before we get into everything, just because it's right here. So you want to come back to the docks. Right in here, you can grab the... 1207 holo tape go to the bank and use the password Xin Chan Wen. And then we're going to the bank just at the corner of the pier. And then you come in here and actually play this holo tape. And there's quite a few holo tapes around this island where you can get them and come play them in here and it will open these. I know there's at least two. Grab that. As you know, an important Chinese surveillance vessel was lost in American waters. Your mission is to destroy derelict submarine. Okay, then after you listen to that, you just have to click one of these wanted posters. And then head into another room on the same pier. And here we got a mini nuke. And the next part of the quest, right on this terminal. Okay, now it tells us to come over here, and I got a stealth boy from one of those, so that's what I'm using right now. And then I just come in here, come down here, grab the last thing we need for this quest, and then just head right back. We're going to be coming back to this location a little later, so. And then after you do that, it just tells you to come to this sub just off the shore. And then you do that, come over here, pull this, and then run away. Blow that submarine up. And now we're going to be on our way. Now we're headed back to room 1D. And then just extract these. And then walk right around to the opposite end of the same building. Into room 1K. And then that is where we get the pint sized slasher mask. No better way to start this DLC than with this mask. Okay guys, now we walked up from the bay to the manor. And since we did the velvet curtain, we come over to this thing. You put on the cryptochromatic spectacles. Do this code. You can see the lines on each of the vases. And this will open, come on down. And right here guys, we have, some would argue, the best rifle in the entire game. It does five less damage than the Lincoln Repeater, but has five times the critical chance. So it's almost a critical hit every single time. And then when you 
Do that. It's a trap. Activate this. And you complete the quest. The Velvet Curtain. Now we're going to be getting back to the mansion. We're going to be saving our boy Desmond. Ha 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 ha. Cut them all down. Oh. It looks like they're coming in from somewhere upstairs. Hurry, follow me. Find where they are coming in and stop them. I'll be keeping. Well, I'll find where they're coming in, Desmond. Don't you worry. What do we have here? Ha ha ha! Another one bites the dust. And then when you get up to this part, you just want to shoot these. Get back to the main area. Blocking off that hole. And we got one more to go. Looks like they're about to breach from the east wing. Are you immersed yet? Don't even let them open the door. Before you cut them all down. Nothing like the perforator and this machine gun I found on the main floor. Looks like the last of them. You're a pretty good shot. Yes, I am a pretty good shot. So, my hero, think you and he will give you a perk where right when you stand time, still, you do more damage or take I'll less share a damage. Few tips for the next time you're making a dramatic Let's see. Stand. Can't remember. Do more damage. That's what it is. Yeah. You need to learn to pay attention when I speak. Those mud lovers want me dead and haven't extended the common fucking courtesy of telling me why. So, I need you to find a way into their commune and figure out what's going through their addled little heads. Okay, guys, now he has sent us on an errand to go to this church, and we're gonna make our way there, but we got a couple stops on the way. Unlock the ritual site, then come to Haley's Hardware, and this is the second shop vendor. In this place one is in the main area we came in and the other is this guy come in here he's always got some good stuff you can get this bottle cap mine just pick it up drag it around the corner the good old stealing trick because why not and then you can get some well, lever action there. rifles to Welcome repair to, the uh, black hall rifle black water rifle sorry yes sir Okay, now we're coming up to the chapel. Which is really just to get a quest. We're not actually getting in just yet. Hark! Venture west to the Great Bog, and within you shall find the mother of all punga fruit. Who goes okay, there? simple enough. Go find the mother punga fruit. Okay, guys, now from here, we're going to be headed to the truck wreckage. run along the path and just over here we come to the truck and grab this light bulb and also the yeast behind for a quest later on okay now from here we're just gonna swing a right and we're actually coming back to the base we visited for the code underneath in the basement but we didn't actually do anything else This is the Turtle Dove Detention Camp, where it's a constant battle between ghouls and the pre-war military robots, which I will destroy. Wearing a clown mask. Because why not? And you know, there's not actually anything really unique here, but there's lots of good gear. And here we got some combat armor. These stashes can be random, I believe, but always some good stuff. And then in the main building, there's tons of stuff. Mini nuke, safe, 
All the good stuff. Our first double barrel shotgun. And then this is really the fat stash of the base. And then from here, we're going to run out the front gate to an unmarked location with an easily missed unique weapon. People online say that it does one damage. I don't know why everyone says that. It's the toy knife, and it has the lowest AP cost of every melee weapon in the game. But when I had it fully repaired, it did 10 damage, so now you know. Unique toy knife. Looks like a real knife to me, but what do I know? Okay guys, now we're going to head to the trash heap. There's nothing super special or unique, but definitely some good stuff. And a location to unlock for fast traveling for a quest later. Mini nuke, cash, another safe hidden over here. Well, not really hidden, but you know what I mean. Jammed in the ground. Okay, now I came and unlocked these two locations, and then we will be proceeding with the main quest. Come in here. I'm not going to hold your hand. Make your way to the massive fruit. Go on your mystical trip adventure. What's happening? And then once you get up, you'll find this massive scar on your left temple. And your butthole hurts. Okay, now we're going to be coming to this grower shack for a bit of loot, but also for a quest later just so we have it unlocked. And then when you come into this room here, just on this night table there is a mini nuke and this is a code for the bank back at the harbor. You can go play that and get some loot. And then from the grower shack, we're going to head down here to Black Hall Manor, which is a super cool, unique quest. Part of this quest can actually carry into the Capital Wasteland, which we will touch on a little later. But anyway, just come and talk to Old Man Black Hall himself. Good, good. Kind of looks like Joe Biden. Conversation is but one of the virtues that separate us from cretins like those swamp folk who, I should mention, absconded with a book, a precious family heirloom. Will you get it back? Yes, I will. The dark heart of Black Hall started. Now, once you leave, this girl will run up Wait to you, and there's two I parts to, to this quest. Has Obadiah sent you in search of a book? He most certainly has. I thought as much. Listen to me very carefully, child. You mustn't bring it to him. You can find me at my tent on the beach south of black hall god bless your path child okay so now we're going to the ritual site to get the book and there's going to be a lot of enemies here ready for you so come prepared because the site is well defended all kinds all kinds now come in here make your way down And then once you get to the very bottom, you're going to find the book, the Kriv Bekne. Which is like the Nominomican, I guess. Take the Kriv Bekne, and then you're going to be swarmed. Fight your way out. Now, you could take it to her. Or you could take it to him and get a thousand caps, which is a lot of caps. So, for me, it's an easy choice. The book. You found it. Quickly. Give it to me. Here's your, Here's your stupid book. Now give it to me. 
Thanks for the money, but you know what? I think I might want the book too. Go put that old man back in his chair. And then take the book, and we got a thousand caps and the book. Can't go wrong. That's my book. Okay, and now from here, come down and unlock this. If you want the achievement for all the locations in Point Lookout or whatever, I'm just showing lots of them. And then come to the outpost where she was, and there's a bunch of bandits. And then you come into her tent, and look at that, she was murdered, so... You can take her tape, listen to that, they attacked while I slept. grab her key, I, I don't expect to survive. and those stims, of course, I only pray that... <laughs> get some loot, and make I sure you explore the other tents, there is some good stuff, but I didn't bother showing it. Take up my mission. There is one way to utterly destroy Krivbekne, but you must take a pilgrimage far north of Point Lookout in the capital wasteland. Seek a place. Dunwich will be there later. Okay, now from here, we're just coming up this way, unlocked these locations, and made it to Marguerite's shack. Okay, now you want to come in here, Yay, talk to Marguerite, who's bullshitting son. you, but... Think you could help Still a, a quest. Sick woman get on the man. There are yeah, sick woman needs moonshine to get on the mend. Large batches, so we need a good bit of each. Okay, now you can come to Haley's Hardware. You need three things: fission batteries, yeast, and punga fruits. Yep. So this guy Look. or the other chick I showed you will have the yeast and the batteries if you don't already have them. Haley's Hardware, and then this house. House of Wares. And then after you do that, then you can just head back to the grower's shack, and if it's not refined punga fruit, it has to be 20 wild ones, and there's more than 20 here. So. Easy. We need to gather up the ingredients. Here you go. Let me take them off your hands, then. Okay, and then after you give her everything and wait a few hours, 24 hours will do. Here's your pay and a cut of the batch. Enjoy it. So will give you six bottles of moonshine and 300 caps so you can have money and get back and drunk. Okay, guys, now we're at the chapel about to turn everything in. You are welcome to our tribe. Now, upon entering... After Truly you talk to this wiener, wisdom upon you. you will get this perk. Punga fruit restores more health. Doesn't matter because I don't eat stupid punga fruit. Well. I eat stim packs in my arm. And then this guy will be outside. You are new. And then I throw on a stealthy boy and I hid and I slash this guy in the back. And you can get the unique shovel, the fertilizer shovel which does poison damage for whatever reason. So, you can do poison damage and you can ding with it. What a win. And then just come in here and talk to Nadine. Looks like another newbie in the tribe. Where's the tribe leader? I guess you mean Jackson. Where is he? Off at his magical thinking cave, I guess. His cave's magical under thinking the cave. Cathedral, but it's hard to find. Use this key to get in through a wrecked ship down at the sea cliffs to the east. Okay, now she gave us the key for this thing. Come over here, unlock that, and come to the ship. We shall reconsecrate the mansion and remove the impurities disrupting your perfect guidance. Shut your mouth, Jason. I cannot tell you how satisfying it is to find a suitable assistant after all these years. Who said I was your assistant? Yes, away with you. Okay. And now we just head to Coastal Grotto. Now, this is part of the reason why I killed Black Hall, because it costs a thousand caps to fight in this arena. Welcome. Welcome to my extraordinary safari. That's the spirit, sir. And then, after you pay a thousand caps, you come in, hit this button, and be ready to face waves and waves and waves of feral ghouls. 
And upon completing it, you can go out and talk to him, and you will get another unique weapon. Let's commemorate your first safari. First and this last. This was uh, misplaced by one of my other patrons. Enjoy it. Okay, this is called the Dismemberer, and this has a chance to literally As explode people when you use it against them. Just like the bloody mess perk. I mean, I don't use it, but you gotta show all of them, right? And now we're gonna come to Herzog Mine. Herzog Mine. And once you come in here... Watch out for all the traps. And then once you make your way through, you can find this kid. You made it past my traps? And then just to the right, another pint-sized slasher mask. And if you talk to that kid and befriend him, you can get the shortcut out that's on the ladder right there. Okay, guys, now after that, we're going to swim out to the USS Ozymandas. Ozymandas. And just come activate this for the quests and antique land. And then that will just tell you to go to these three separate locations, which we already unlocked locations near. And once you do, just come on in, grab the tape, rinse and repeat each location. Nothing like the black water rifle. And on this quest you get lots of advanced radiation suits. Just grabbed one there. Grab the final tape. And then we are going to be headed back to the ship. With our new radiation suit. Once you have those three, just come here, turn it in, and it is as simple as that, and then you get this super sweet stash right here. Lots of good stuff. And complete the quest. I knew it. I knew that little bastard was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. I have the perfect device to jam up his little talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point on the shore. Come to the Ferris wheel, stick it on the card. You fool! What have you done? You will pay for this! Hey! No one betrays me! You understand? You will suffer for this! And then just deal with all of the tribals. Come on. I'm gonna shoot you. Haha. <laughs> Suicide it is. Or that would have been his fate too. Decapitation. Oh my goodness. The manor explodes. I don't know, it's more exciting this or seeing the nuke go off in Megaton. Then after you do that, just come over to the bunker that's in the burning house. Thought control completed. That bastard. That bastard. He killed my pups. Follow me. You're about to witness the end of an era. And now we are headed to the lighthouse. And once we get to the lighthouse, before we continue with Desmond, down there, we're gonna make our way up to the very top and stick that bulb in here that we collected from the truck wreckage. What a beautiful sight to see. And now we are going to be making our way all the way back down to continue. Haha! <laughs> I don't talk to brains that have been trying to kill me. 
Finish that off. At last, the world is rid of that sniveling, disgusting, arrogant brain. And then after you do that, guys, you have completed it. And the only thing left is to kill Desmond while his back is turned for his glasses. And these are Desmond's glasses. Another unique item. And the scar. And then, last but certainly not least, we have the microwave emitter in this stash area with tons of good stuff. Don't forget that. And yeah, this is one of the better energy weapons. You couldn't use it for long distance, but anyways, you come back hey, to the boat. Just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess. I figured you'd Talk to Nadine. Come in here. Well, if it isn't my favorite. And we get this guy. Before he even has a chance to explain himself, because I don't want to hear it, and grab our lump of brain. And his outfit, which is the last unique item that I will be showing. And then now we can head back to the capital wasteland. Good to see you again. Talk to I Nadine's mom. To actually pay you. Get some more money, and we're not quite done yet, guys. We are headed to the Dunwich building. To deal with the Krivbekne. Now, this is a big, deep dungeon. I'm not going to walk you through the whole thing, but at the very tail end, if you decide to do this, and not just sell him the book and leave it, you can deal with all these ghouls, and then just go up and click on the statue. Goodbye, Krivbekne. And that is that. I really hope you guys like this video. I've got lots of stuff coming up. And yeah, as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.